What is going on, my super sandwiches? Ramson here, and today I'm joined by Jaden Tastic, and we're going Hello. to be discussing Resurrection F because the movie is finally out here in the U.S. and Canada, and it's popped up in many places across the world. Which, by the way, I believe uh, in the U.K. because I always get this question. In the U.K., it should be available sometime in September. Manga U.K. is the company that's working on localizing it for you guys over there. Localizing. Uh, did I say that? Yeah, localizing for you guys over there. So keep an eye out for that. But as far as everybody else, if you haven't gotten it yet, uh, it should be popping up sometime soon. Just keep an eye on the media for whenever it pops up. But today we're discussing just the English dub that just came out this past week uh, in the U.S. and Canada. And I figured, you know what, Danny, we gotta talk about this. So, Danny, why don't you go ahead and just start us off? How did you, I guess, what did you feel? What did you think about the movie? Like, how do you feel about it? What's your overall thoughts on it? My overall thought is that it was great. Like everything, the animation was like phenomenal. And then the voice actors, even though they've been doing this forever, like for some reason in this feel movie. Better. The, it was better. They Way were better. all like A plus status. Like they yeah, all brought their cause, game. Because I remember when Battle of Gods came out, there was uh, some criticism around uh, the voices didn't sound as epic as they were supposed to, which I never understood that because I thought Battle of Gods thing was great. But watching Resurrection F, the voicing uh, was done a whole lot better, a yeah. lot better than uh, previous projects. And out of all the dub ones, I like Resurrection F the most as far as when it comes down to which uh, version I like the most in terms of how the voice actors did. They did great. Uh, Jacko. Tell, tell me about Jackal, because this is <laughs> this is your first time watching the movie, right? You you stayed yeah. spoiler free, free pretty much all. I this did, past yeah. Two I don't, I don't, I don't know, know how. how I managed it, but all the way through, I avoided it as as best as I could, and I actually didn't see any spoilers or anything. So, um, I mean, I knew that that Jocko was in it, but I don't I didn't know like what his role was or anything. And uh, his character was great. I he's he's not as powerful as i thought that he might be no he's just but, he's just a cop <laughs> yeah but he was definitely hilarious and i loved how he like used the environment to his advantage instead of like actually take because he like somehow takes out hundreds of Fre freezes men but mm -hmm. doesn't actually hit any of them so yeah i thought he's a great character i mean he's like yeah. a perfect comic relief character yeah, and Todd Habercone did a great job. To those who don't know who he is, Todd Habercone is a per person who voiced Natsu in Fairy Tale. So uh, I think Funimation chose the perfect voice for Jackal. But everything else is great. The thing that I, I liked about this movie is there's there's a lot of plot holes, and I, obviously I don't like the plot holes. But what I really like about the movie is it's just all action and then a lot of comedy on the side too. It's basically that uh, with Battle of Gods, it's more about the uh, the comedy and kind of like build up a story. Whereas Resurrection F is more about just building out this epic epic fighting session that's last pretty much the entire movie and uh it's a great ride it's a really awesome ride if you haven't seen it definitely go check it out um in the description you know i'll include the link to the tickets if you haven't gotten them yet uh, uh which by the way try to get your tickets ahead of time if you haven't seen it yet because it's been selling out across the nation uh all major cities specifically like new york california chicago they, they sold out so make sure you keep an eye out on tickets before you go see the movie um what didn't you like about it i guess i want to ask you <laughs> So there was, there was uh, well, two parts in particular that I thought could have been done a little bit better. Um, the first being Frieza game. So since I didn't, I didn't have any spoilers or anything, I, I expected the Golden Frieza to be his, his god form, basically. And so what I expected to happen was that his hen their henchman or himself was going to wish for, like, an ultimate power or something. Um, yeah. And not just him training for, for six four months or six months or whatever it was and all of a sudden he's like just as powerful as goku and vegeta i mean he couldn't hold the form so he wasn't like quite there but he was like as so i was like wait really he if he would have just been because if he would have been training from like birth till now he would be like beerus status or yeah, higher i feel like like that that was well, kind of not, not actually beerus status but up there because he was but obviously yeah, stronger than goku he was stronger than goku when, when he transformed yeah um and then uh, just the the whole kind of like cop out thing when uh, when we turns back time. I didn't. I mean, I don't know. I I don't like time travel when it when it's used to get out of a situation. Like I like time travel in storylines and stuff like Doctor Who and that kind of stuff. But when it's mm -hmm. it's used when it feels like it's used because they they kind of wrote themselves into a corner. <laughs> like I don't really enjoy that too much but it was okay i mean it was funny I mean, to see goku come in and, and steal the glory from vegeta i thought that was really I, funny. i understand why whis has that power because he's supposed to be the watcher of beerus so you gotta make sure that you know uh he's basically the balance of beerus and the rest of the universe so i understand why he has that ability but like in terms of him turn you know turn back time it was kind of a cop out but i mean overall like the thing i didn't really like about resurrection f and it's not that i didn't like the movie uh, just the one small thing I want to point out, if I could pick one thing out, is really the development, because there was no development in that movie at all. It just, like, Freezer comes back, and just all action. So there's, like, poor storytelling, really. But, uh, 
overall, it's still a great movie. It's very enjoyable. Uh, whether yeah. you're a Dragon Ball Z fan or not, you know, if you're just a fan of anime, you can sit down and really have fun in this in this movie. So I I highly recommend it. I definitely yeah. recommend it. And the it. comedy, the, there's like I mean, there's like little hit, subtle hints to other you know pieces of of nerddom, and then there's like little jokes in there, like when. Uh, when they talk about how Yamcha and Chaozu didn't even show up because there's like no point for them to be there because they're so weak, like I thought that was great. Yeah, that was, that was probably the yeah. funniest part in the whole movie to me. So I mean, it's yeah. it's action packed. The voice acting voice acting is top notch. I mean, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I mean that's all there is really to it. I mean, we're not gonna go too much into detail. We don't want to spoil too much that we already did. But again, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Go watch your friends. Go watch it multiple times, whatever. Uh, and by the way, it's breaking a lot of records right now too. Uh, first day they pulled 1.97 million dollars, which is first of all incredible for uh, an anime movie in the first place. Yeah. But uh, uh, let's see, I'm looking at it right now. As of August 6th, which is only uh, three days in, so August 4th, 5th, and 6th, it pulled uh, 3.9 million dollars, and worldwide it's at I believe like 55 million, which is incredible. The theater, so it's, the theater that I saw it at here in Indianapolis, I think was only was only showing it for four different nights. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty positive they were sold out all four nights before, before the nights were even there. Like they didn't mm-hmm. have any. Like you couldn't just go in and buy a ticket for any of the shows because they sold out before it was even playing. So it's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's yeah. <laughs> that's not that's not really else to say about this uh, other than go check it out. Uh, but I mean, what we wanted to ask you guys before we end this video is, what was your favorite part of the movie? And uh, let us know in the comment section below. And if you have seen it, if you enjoyed it as much as we did, make sure you leave a like rating below and all that good stuff. But Danny, is there anything else you want to say before we end this? Woo woo swag. Woo woo swag. <laughs> Hashtag woo woo swag in the comment <laughs> section below if you made it this far as well. Uh, yeah. Anyways, check out Danny in the description below. Go subscribe to him and all the good stuff. Uh, and vice versa if you're from watching his channel, whatever. Uh, yeah. And other than that, I guess enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Gene Fantastic and Rhyme Style. And we'll see you guys in the comment section below. Bye.